<laughs> what the <laughs> funk <laughs> is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, so when I met Janine, it was like, it was cool. We got introduced when I was in Kuala Lumpur. She really gels with people well. It's like, I feel like you can put her in a room with anybody. Right. She gets along, she knows how to read the room and very, very respectable. Well, I was working um, with Franks, Mr. Franks, the producer. And I think it all started from the chords. That was more or less just kind of reading the energy of the room and knowing what she wanted to do and really just trying to find a way to make that come to life. Uh, when the chords came, uh, I think everybody was kind of just in agreement. like, okay, this sounds good. I think we're on the yeah. sound. We sent it to uh, Jesse yeah. and Jesse sent over a rough idea. We were like, yo, yo, we really, really love this. And then when the top line started coming together, we started adding elements and and we had our, our own kind of like mock-up of what it was. And then we sent it to you. What's your passcode? How do you treat your mama? So it was a pretty sparse demo. Obviously, you can hear the tempo is a lot slower than the final version. But already, Janine and I heard lots of stuff that we really liked. Uh, the chords were beautiful. Jesse's top line hit really hard as well. So I identified like three strong sections that we could work with. There was a strong A section that I felt could work as a verse. A B section that I thought would make a great chorus. And this C section that I thought maybe we could leave this really chill and it could be a middle eight maybe. Tried out the song with Janine's vocals and we decided to take the song down by one semitone to fit Janine's vocal range a little bit better. What's your passcode? The next question we asked was how can we keep the magic of the original but make it feel different, make it feel more like an upbeat pop banger. So with that in mind, the first thing I did was speed the song up. Next thing I did was record some drums. What's your passcode? How do you treat your mama? Does your ex give you drama? I think those two things really changed up the feel of the song and we all thought, okay, now we can start having some fun. Of course you went and added and flipped some stuff on the track and we kind of went back and forth. So now we had the beginnings of a good verse and a strong chorus, but it felt like it needed some space to breathe in between so that the chorus really elevated and lifted. So I added a pre with a much more laid back, relaxed feel. Tommy and Franks already had this nice filtered piano that I thought worked really well for the pre. I just added in these synths to give it a more lush feel. And an LFO to give it some movement. The chorus already had this great bounce to it because of the interaction between the drums and the vocoders, synths, and vocal samples that Tommy and Franks had used. At this point, I started wondering what can I do to take it into a really unexpected direction? And I thought, oh, why not put in some really funky bass? I'm a big fan of trying stuff out in production that might not even make it to the final song, but I think it's still worth trying because it influences everything that comes after it. You added an element of, of funk that I don't think that we were actually gonna head towards at first. And then you like flipped it and sped it up and changed a couple things yeah. and like laid a bass. It was lit, bro. Yeah. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> and, and then we changed a little bit of the bass. gave it room to breathe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a little bit busy before that. Then it became more like vibey. Okay, how can I mess with Tommy and Franks and dial up the funk feel even further? And I thought, oh, why not funk guitar? By now, we were really happy with everything we had for the chorus, but it kind of felt like the chorus ended too soon. You didn't feel like going back into the verse just yet. So I added this new section, this post-chorus or hook, if you will, that continued on the themes of the chorus. Wrote some new melody, lyrics. Stacked the backing vocals really thick to give it this cute girl group kind of vibe. Yeah. Oops, did I 
too much too soon. Oops. So with the verses and the choruses more or less set, we said let's dial everything back for the middle eight, keep it really chill and give Janine's vocals maximum room to shine. I need answers, I need passwords, I need... Tommy came up with this idea of pitching the vocoder one octave down to give Janine's vocals even more room to breathe. It's been years since I've forgotten how to trust. And finally to close off the middle eight, I ended up using a phone locking sound which I thought was a neat way to kind of like tie a bow on everything Janine was saying with the vocals, the lyrics. So we all felt what we had was pretty solid so far and we said let's just get Janine's vocals on the track first and then we'll see where we go from there. You laid kind of like the groundwork for us to build up on that record. After you doing that, it was kind of a blueprint to be like, that's here's the sketch and we're going to paint this now. I recorded Janine's vocals in Maverick Studios here in KL, finished up the vocals right here. So with Janine's vocals in place, Tommy and Franks could get to work with finalizing the record or polishing it to get it closer to its final sound. After we went through that whole process of kind of just like sending stuff back and forth and playing hot potato, <laughs> um, <laughs> it was to a point to where we were like, okay, you know, let's just stack this kick you know what I mean? The pattern yeah. is fire. Yeah. Let's maybe change the snare and give it something that's a little more punchy. We just all decided that we're going to funk you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the song traveled. Yeah, exactly. And we didn't. So it was like everybody else was in different places and we kind of put it together. It was kind of like the beginning of how people create now. That's yeah, true. That's, we wow. were ahead of the curve. You're right. <laughs> yeah, we, were, we were getting prepared. <laughs> I, I love working with Janine, and I cannot wait till we debut some of this new music we're working with. Come on, man. Uh, All right, now we're going to get the funk out of here. <laughs> <laughs>